Andrew Garfield recently revealed that he lied to everybody in regards to a return as Spider-Man. Even Emma Stone. He directly lied to her. You guys asked me to talk about this one, so let's talk about it. But I don't think there's much to say, really. A part of me just thinks that people like hearing about Andrew Garfield. I think that's kind of the thing here, why people wanted me to talk about it. I was like, what, what can I say? I mean... He said everything you need to know. It's not like he was dropping a scoop or major news or anything. Andrew Garfield was in an interview and he was asked, okay, so who knew about it? Did Emma Stone know? Because you guys still keep in contact and everything. You guys were obviously in a relationship back with the first two films. And he said, no, he lied to her as well. She texted him and she would ask him, hey, are you in the new Spider-Man? He was like, I, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not in it. I've seen the things online, but no, I am not in this film. So yeah, he was lying to her. And... Again, I've justified his lying before. He was trying to keep a secret and didn't want anything out. I'm not saying that you should just outright lie to everybody, as some people were saying in the other video where I said he made the right choice, because obviously everybody tries to straw man argument people if they don't agree with them. What I'm saying is he signed a giant NDA and the secrecy of everything, and, well, you know, everything depended on the secrecy. So he made the correct choice. And he didn't even tell her. I mean, it's exactly what you're supposed to do. If you say, I won't tell a single soul other than the people that know, well, then you don't tell a single soul other than the people that know. So I agree with him there. You know, um, I think he made a correct choice. I think he was smart enough to try to keep this under wraps. Because could you imagine if she maybe slipped up and said something, then we hear from somebody else. Oh, yeah, Andrew Garfield is in it because Emma Stone knew. Right? That could have easily happened. Things like that have happened before in regards to video games, TV projects, and movie projects. Because a friend of somebody says something, you're like, wait a second. Well, there we go. I mean, that's a thing. I think this is actually how we learned about Ben Affleck possibly being cast as Batman. If I'm remembering correctly, I think it was Matt Damon or somebody that first mentioned it. And it was like, wait, what? Hmm. And then it turned out to be true. Maybe it wasn't Ben Affleck, maybe it was one of those other actors in the DCEU, I can't remember correctly, but I want to say maybe Jason Momoa, it doesn't matter, but you get what I'm saying. You never want the news or the surprise to be ruined like that. So he did what he thought was necessary and smart, keep a secret, and he signed an NDA. So he was smart, he was doing his job, good job. <laughs> 